If you're looking at my skin right now, you're gonna be the first one to see that my skin is not flawless. It is not. I have a lot of acne scars. Hey guys, and welcome back. After starting to eliminate a lot of objects from my life, I decided to look into other things that I was putting into my body that I could maybe reduce or minimize. And one of the things that became an obvious one for me was birth control. I've been taking birth control since I was 15 years old because I was an athlete and I just wanted to regulate my period, but also because of my acne. And so birth control is something that I decided to sort of eliminate. If you're looking at my skin right now, you're gonna be the first one to see that my skin is not flawless. I'm not trying to come up here and tell you guys that I have a miracle cure for acne, I don't. But what I can share with you is how I cleared up my acne without being on any sort of birth control or any other medication. I came off of birth control in May of 2020, so it's been about like eight months now, and I did it because I wanted to find out how my body would act without all those extra hormones going into it every month. And for the first time ever, I was in a position where I'm with someone who was willing to let me try, and we don't want children anytime soon, and so it's important that your partner's on board because, you know, you got to... Make sure that you're using other methods of contraception to make sure that you don't end up having kids. <laughs> Finally in a position where I was with someone where I felt comfortable giving this a try and he's super supportive, which I'm so thankful for. So I don't wanna go into too much detail about what happened after I got out of birth control, but I can tell you two things. One, I felt like I was experiencing feelings at a way higher level all of a sudden. Like I had been feeling them at like 70% and then off of birth control, it went to 100%. Um, so for both sadness and happiness, but like it's been super cool to just be able to see how my body acts. And the second one is that I got my acne back. <laughs> when the acne from coming off of birth control come, started settling in, then I actually started just investing heavily in like really good face products. Now here's the thing that anyone will be able to tell you. Face products can only do so much if the internal cause of what's causing your acne isn't getting addressed. Like my face was super inflamed, um, very, very oily, like oilier than usual. Um, and I was just getting so many pimples in my chin area, um, not so much on my forehead, but really this was like, this became the problem zone. Up my cheeks and down my cheekbones, like down my jawline. And this is how basically I was able to confirm that it's hormonal acne. Hormonal acne tends to reoccur in certain locations. That's when I really started looking into what I could do naturally. So without having to go back on birth control to sort of help clear it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys how my skin is right now. If you just saw the video that I just shown, you will see a major difference, but my skin is in no way, shape or form clear yet. I have no makeup on right now. I have a lot of acne scars still from um, the initial phases. So these aren't pimples anymore. They're really just scars. I don't know if you can see that and they're very pigmented. I have a cream that I'm using on them to sort of help the little pigmentation, like the extra pigmentation go away. So when I start addressing these like hyperpigmented um, scars, then my skin will be a lot clearer on the sides. So for right now on a daily basis, I do use concealer. This area that in the previous video was like filled with pimples, that's like very, very cleared up if you can see right now. Like, um, and here's the thing, right? If all you have on your face are like acne scars and little red dots, it's very easy to hide them with concealer. So this is what I mean by clearing up my skin. I still have the scars, but the pimples are mostly all gone. A handful of these I actually tried out because I was watching videos from channels like Sarah Therese. I'll leave her video here. Um, I followed a bunch of her advice and honestly it worked for me, so that was awesome. The first thing I do is that I use a little silicone scrubby thing to wash my face and it vibrates very gently and it just helps like pull all the gunk out of your face. So that's more on a topical level and I will leave a picture of the one I use here and I'll link it down below. Um, it's not very expensive. I have not found the need to buy like the 100 euro ones. I don't think it's necessary, but if you can afford one, then I think you should go ahead and do it. I use the Body Shop Tea Tree line um, or Tea Tree Oil line for clearing my face. So the face wash, the toner, and the very gentle moisturizer. I have to make an important disclaimer. 
I was recently diagnosed with PCOS. If you guys don't know what that is, it stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and it's just um, basically means that my body isn't functioning the way that it should and it's reversible and I'm working on it and I'm not um, too concerned about it, but it's something that I was able to discover by coming off the pill. Like this is something that basically gets masked by the pill and if you don't get off the pill, you only really discover this once you get off to try to have kids, for example. Because of this diagnosis, there's two things I eliminated from my diet and one of these things is highly recommended for dealing with acne and that's eliminating dairy from your, from your diet. Dairy is just a very, very inflammatory food and it just messes with your hormones. So if you're wanting to try out something that you can start like today, try to eliminate dairy and replace as much as you can with almond milk or just coconut yogurts and milks and stuff. I have this Alpro yogurt that I love. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the yogurt that I eat. It's Alpro and it's Greek style plant-based yogurt. And I've been loving the Alpro coconut milk. It's just been like super nice to cook with and just, yeah, highly recommend. I also have almond milk, but I just find the coconut milk to be a lot yummier. Something else that I started taking, and this was a recommendation from Sarah Therese, is um, I have been taking liver pills. Now she recommends beef liver. I looked into it and lamb liver pills are the same thing and these were, are what mine look like. I'll link them down below. They're from Hunter and Gather and they're just raw Icelandic lamb, real food supplement for nutritional support. And honestly guys, even if you're not struggling with acne, I would highly recommend looking into these supplements because they just have a bunch of really, really good stuff for you. Um, I'm not a doctor, so please, if you have any problems or concerns, please talk to your doctor before you start taking any of my advice. But it contains a lot of vitamin A, riboflavin, vitamin B12, copper. Um, it doesn't have any fillers, reagents. Yeah, no hormones. It recommends taking two to six. I take two. Age-old recommendation of drinking more water is something I've been trying to do. I usually use reusable water bottles, but sometimes I'll get really sick of drinking just plain water. This one's one I love. It's like lime and jasmine, but it has no calories. Essentially what these waters do is that they put the smell of lime and jasmine in it, and because 80% of what you taste is actually based on smell, then it makes it feel like the water tastes like this. It's really delicious. I actually haven't taken my beef liver pills or lamb liver pills today, so I'll just take them on camera. They don't taste like anything or smell like anything. I'll show you guys. They're just, oh, focus. Yeah, they're just like this. And uh, yeah. I also started taking Ovacetol or like Myo Inositol, it's called supplements. It helps regulate your like basic hormonal system and it helps regulate your period and everything. And it's just a natural supplement. It's just a bunch of vitamins. So if this is something you're interested in looking into to try to like regulate your menstrual cycle, um, also has a lot of iron in it. I recommend looking into, I know that in the States it's called Ovacetol, but anything that has the component myo inositol is good. Talk to your gynecologist, talk to your doctor, see if this is something that could benefit you because I've been taking two of these a day and ever since I started this, that's when I really started seeing a lot of the changes. So highly recommend. And then I also take magnesium, I think like twice a week, mostly because magnesium is really good for your brain and it helps with fatigue, which I struggle with sometimes. But I also heard a lot of good things about it being extremely anti-inflammatory, so it could also help with inflammation on your face. And then if you're wondering, like the cream that I was talking about um, is the one that I use is from Clarence and I will just put it right here because I don't really remember the name but you sort of put it on a little cotton swab and you just dab it all over your face and you let it sit overnight and it's supposed to just help with like getting rid of these. If you would consider subscribing and leaving me a big thumbs up, that would be amazing. It helps me on this journey. I put a lot of effort and love into these videos. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Bye.